What is up guys, it's Soulbash, and we are going to look at the update. Uh, just the overview, kind of go through everything. I know a lot of stuff has been kind of confusing to some people, and just going to basically go over everything that they added to it, and tell you basically what I know. Uh, the first one I do want to touch on is the character enhancement function. That was added, but the catch to the character enhancement is you need to be level 100 before you can even start it. Now, the only other thing I know past that is there's a quest line that you have to do. You have to complete all of the maps for through 100. And there's a few other things I know you got to get uh, 10 uh, PVP wins in the, let's see, in the battlefield. And other than that, I'm not sure about what the rest of the quest line for that is. But basically what happens is when you enhance your character, it kind of looks like you go back to what I'm guessing level one. I've seen them lower uh, in the 40s, but there is a star that is added to your picture up here. And you'll have a one and I'm assuming once you continue doing it, the star will continue rising on it. Uh, and that's uh, where you get to use the runes for upgrading the skills you can only use those runes after the fact so you have to be able, you have to enhance your character before you can use these runes uh, the other thing that was added is the talismans and they are right here just same place they were from the other videos where I showed you um, and the sad part about the talismans is it's going to take forever to get these things okay um, I do know you can find them in the guild in the bazaar uh, I don't have any in here currently and I'm pretty sure you're never gonna find any in the guild stall because if anybody passes them up I don't know why they would but they are very expensive just for their just for that part of the bazaar you can find them one shard is 300 market crystals and sometimes you will catch one that has three shards in it for 1,000 diamonds which is a bit pricey and it does add up quick uh, unless somebody just outright spends the money to get it I don't see anybody having one in, you know, the next week or so. It's going to take a while for them to get them. Uh, you can also get them, I believe, um, somebody was saying the Warpath. I have not checked yet, but they were saying you could get them from there. Um, that's the only thing I see that you can get is the Talisman Stones, which you use to upgrade them. And people had questions about the skill upgrade as well. The skill upgrade, that actually changes the active ability for that uh, talisman so what that does is lets you cycle through and um, there is a huge list basically it's just kind of like the enhancements for your equipment uh, and the awakenings for your pets it scales from greens blues purples and oranges from what I've seen uh, and you can refresh it as many times as long as you have the cards uh, other things that were added with this were, of course, the outfit, uh, which I'm going to get into in an entirely different video because I'm going to be buying it. Uh, we're going to see what we can get on it and mix and match it with my other outfit to uh, maximize what I'm going for. On top of that, the pet enhancements, they were added for the following pets, of course, Jib Jab, Master Shoe, Power Tar, and Ice Turtle. Those, um, I've seen two of them. And the skins change on them after you enhance them. I'm not sure. I don't have any of those up high enough that way I can actually look at them to see if you can enhance or skin them. But I know the enhancements are out on Jib Jab, Master Shoe, Power Tower, and Ice Turtle. So if you're looking to use those pets, go ahead and enhance them and start using the new abilities that they have. And I think I've got a few screenshots of a couple of them. I'll show you the... Uh, Ice Turtle changed quite a bit. He does not look like Squirtle from Pokemon anymore. He's actually green. Now, on top of that, there were new awakening skills added for pets. I'm not sure exactly which ones were added, but uh, you can go through and just take a look. I'm, there's no telling what all they added. I'm not sure about S skills, but I believe they may have added some more A skills to some different pets as well. Um, I think Spirit Maiden was one of the ones that got a new skill that's pretty nice. Uh, next, we have the uh, disassemble function, which is right here in the market. What this does, very simple. Let's say, for instance, the, that champion's chest right there. 
if I did not want that in my backpack, I can disassemble it. And it's going to cost 20 diamonds, but it's going to turn it right back into the shards. And it's going to take it out of my backpack and put it in my shards. So that can actually save you some space if you're looking to keep those out of the way. Uh, it's kind of nice to actually be able to have them there because I'm not really wanting to use those until I get enough to refine them all the way up to at least level 8. Um, some other things that were added. Uh, achievements they did add another 2444 points that you can get for achievements uh, the main bulk of them I believe being in the gold uh, siderite uh, crystals they did up the account on those that you can do and I'm not sure exactly which other ones they did add but hey that's more points you can get now on top of that let's see what else do we have daily rewards they did add that in you these it's seven days you get a reward for every day uh, let me go in here and find it uh, let's see here we are looking at right here yes Valentine's Day so it's got some pretty nice rewards uh, even second day 200 diamonds third day you know you got an orange equipment chest fourth day it, it, it just gets better and better that's got a quite a lot of nice things in it uh, total you're getting 500 diamonds just for that event right there and they did add some more things for Valentine's you know uh, the top-ups the spins uh, got a lot of nice stuff in there those cards right there if you are leveling up now those are pretty nice 50,000 experience 1 through 99 especially if you're lower level can help you out to begin with and let's see the Valenday's top up that is where you get quite a few good things now you can get fairy guardian shards the maximum that you're gonna be able to get right off the bat I believe is nine shards but you're going to pay ridiculous amounts to be able to just to get that so far because um, you can get them for topping up 1700 diamonds there and 2700 diamonds so you get two from there and you also can buy they're in the store I'll go show you that in just a second uh, there's another two right there so that's four and that's the Valentine's thing and we'll get to the flip cards in just a second uh, we'll take a look at the store and go through the items that they did add okay the Valentine's gift pack this is the outfit I will be getting it in another video and going through using all of these to enchant it and see if we can't get some nice skills on it uh, possibly transfer some of my other ones to it and they also added the activity pack now these right here you can actually get through the game you can get them from team instances uh, that's the only place I've gotten them from so far I believe maybe from Battle Royale uh, I haven't done too many of them since the uh, update has come out this right here I'm, I'm kinda weary of this because basically they're throwing RNG into the chance of chess and my luck has been terrible from day one on this game about getting good stuff and I'm pretty sure there is a 100% uh, chance that I'm gonna get the crappiest chest out of any one of these that I did if I bought it so uh, I myself I would not buy it I just I don't have any use for it now that right there that's nice now you can buy these as well from the activity store I'll show you where these are at in just a second but these right here 10,000 experience times your current level okay so I'm currently level 78 if I bought that uh, one of those is going to give me 78,000 experience which is a huge chunk of experience uh, these are put in the game I believe just to help people try to catch up uh, try to get you to 100 so we can start using the character enhancements but myself I'm not in any hurry to do that at all uh, continuing on the Valentine's Day pack uh, like I said that's that, that's a bit pricey right there 5,852 diamonds just for that you know you're just rolling the dice I do not recommend doing that at all uh, right here a guild pack that's been in there um, let's see anything else that was added into the store um, some nice pets in the store right now but other than that I believe that's all for that but the activity store I was telling you about you can buy these I do recommend if you're trying to catch up I would start collecting these um, I'm probably just gonna pick them up as I go because I've got the extra points right now 
Um, but I'm in no hurry, like I said, to level up. I'm just trying to get gear and pets situated before I start pushing levels. Other than that, it looks like this is going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments about any of this, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.